Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just looking at some different um, ratification of the United States Senate by unanimous consent. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, it, it is said that um, the, the Constitution of the United States was ratified. And it seems that each treaty and convention since that time, I think it was in maybe 1781. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong on this. I have a copy of it. Maybe I should look. Yes. But uh, the United States Senate, by unanimous consent in August of 2006, mm -hmm. Both praised and condemned, the United States became the 16th nation to ratify the convention. The convention entered into force in the United States on the 1st of January of 2007. Yeah. Now, just so you don't understand, oh, Senate Majority Bill Frist. Um, you know what convention I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's called the uh, Convention on Cybercrime. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it seemed that the sheriffs and police departments get upset at me when I put on Facebook the cybercrimes of um, obstructing emails. Yes. Fucking up my Facebook account. Yes. Screwing up my YouTube accounts. Yes. But the United States is actually liable for every international treaty. Yes. That they have ratified, yes, called the Convention on Cybercrime. Oh, I'm trying to get a copy of, of it for you. Mm. Now, um, I have documented a lot of crime, yes. And uh, the last video, if you don't understand it, John Ashcroft versus Freedom of Speech. Yes. For any person that knows about a protection order to contact the organization with the intention of contacting the petitioner, yes, you'd have to be stupid. I mean, really stupid. Yes. And as much as you dislike the thought of me not being stupid, I'm absolutely fucking sure it was a false police report. <clears throat> As was the Swim Washington police report, yes. As was the Brennan two-count criminal complaint, yes. As was the police report on Guam where my wife was able to abduct my sons, yes. Now, um, this cybercrime that the sheriff and the police departments don't think they have to enforce, um, the convention of cybercrime, yeah. Mm -hmm. You actually do. Pooch. You remember the Vienna Convention? <clears throat> now, I haven't gotten any phone calls. Um, could you find out where Marilyn Van Proyen is? Mm -hmm. This uh, exploitation of Regina and herself, which I told you that I wanted to talk to her. Now, they have what's known as hate crimes. Yes. Mm hmm. Um, and, um, there's war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide. Convention on cybercrime? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't we look at the United States, pooch, and every convention that the United States has signed, mm -hmm, that makes it a crime to file false police reports when you know I'm not in that city? Yes. To file false police reports by domestic violence charities? <laughs> Where I call them to see if they got the documentation from Guam. Oh. And for every idiot that thought that I was an idiot. Because you're the dumbest fucking. You've got to be stupid. The last agency that you would contact with the intent of attempting to contact the petitioner. Yes. Would have been the domestic violence agency of Clallam County. You probably would have went through a friend. Yes. A family member. Pow, 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 pow. Mm. Went to a place of work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, you decided to take a police report. Mm -hmm. 20 days after I called them. Yes. Had me arrested. Pooch. Issued another protection order. Pooch. And then refused to acknowledge my rights as an American citizen. Get me every birth certificate for the last 10 years. Yes. 
and every employee of every preschool in the United States of America. It's cybercrime. Sheriff! <laughs>